10, a Springfield Middle School transitions to virtual learning until this Friday. And 2 News reporter Caroline Morse is live after talking with Springfield parents about the change of plans. The Springfield School Coronavirus Dashboard shows how many students have been quarantined from each and every building over the last several weeks. However, the first positive case is a student at Hayward Middle School, which has canceled in-person classes for the rest of the week. It's more safer at home until the coronavirus is completely gone. Just hours after a Springfield Middle School changed gears and is going virtual for the rest of the week, parents say the change was alarming. I don't want that stuff. I don't want my family to get that. I don't want my son, grandson. He's got a new baby brother that he doesn't need to contract it to. Um, there's just too many kids and it doesn't need to be transferred any more than what it has already been. In a statement from Springfield City School District, they say Hayward Middle School transitioned to a virtual format through this Friday, September 25th, when the district will reevaluate students returning to in person instruction. Now, some parents say they encourage their child to stay in school for their education. No, nah, as long as they're learning, either way, but it most likely it would be better for there kids to go back to school for parents because of jobs. According to their online dashboard, there have been 208 Springfield City students quarantined since the start of the school year and only seven at Hayward Middle. Now only one positive student test within the school system so far. Some of the classes are, it's a lot shorter, but as long as they're getting what they need to be done, done, and they are learning, then that shouldn't be a difference. Now, uh, two News has reached out to Springfield City School District for a comment and hasn't received a response. Live in Springfield, I'm Caroline Morse. Two News working for you.